What are the areas where pharmacoeconomics is used? Pharmacoeconomics is used in various areas within the healthcare system and across different sectors to inform decision-making and resource allocation. Some of the key areas where pharmacoeconomics is applied include pharmaceutical industry, healthcare payers and insurers, healthcare providers, policymakers and government health departments, clinical practice guidelines, research and development, patient advocacy groups, pharmacy benefit managers, public health programs, academic and research institutions, international health organizations, patient decision-making, drug approval and market access and budget planning. Let's look together details of the areas within healthcare that pharmacoeconomics used for. Pharmaceutical industry. Pharmaceutical companies use pharmacoeconomic analyses to assess the cost-effectiveness of their new drugs and therapies. This information can help in pricing strategies and market access negotiations with healthcare payers. Healthcare payers and insurers. Health insurance companies, government health programs like Medicare and Medicaid in the United States, and other healthcare payers use pharmacoeconomics to make decisions about which drugs and treatments to cover, establish formularies, and negotiate drug prices. Healthcare providers, hospitals and healthcare systems may use pharmacoeconomic data to make decisions about treatment protocols, formulary choices, and resource allocation within their organizations. Policymakers and government health departments, policymakers at the local, regional, and national levels use pharmacoeconomics to inform healthcare policy decisions, such as drug reimbursement policies and healthcare funding allocation. Clinical practice guidelines, medical associations and expert panels often incorporate pharmacoeconomic evidence into their clinical practice guidelines. These guidelines help healthcare providers make evidence-based treatment decisions. Research and development. Pharmacoeconomics plays a role in shaping research priorities for pharmaceutical companies and research organizations by assessing the potential economic value of new therapies and interventions. Patient advocacy groups. Patient advocacy organizations may use pharmacoeconomic data to advocate for access to specific treatments and to educate their members about the cost-effectiveness of different healthcare options. Pharmacy Benefit Managers PBMs, which manage prescription drug benefits for health insurance plans, use pharmacoeconomic data to negotiate drug prices, determine coverage, and manage pharmacy networks. Public Health Programs Public health agencies use pharmacoeconomics to assess the cost-effectiveness of public health interventions, vaccination programs, and disease prevention strategies. Academic and Research Institutions Researchers and academics conduct pharmacoeconomic studies to contribute to the body of knowledge in healthcare economics and provide evidence for policy and practice. International Health Organizations Organizations like the World Health Organization and the World Bank use pharmacoeconomic analyses to guide global health policies and resource allocation in low- and middle-income countries. Patient decision-making. Pharmacoeconomic information can empower patients to make informed decisions about their health care, especially when considering treatment options with different costs and outcomes. Drug approval and market access. Regulatory agencies in some countries may consider pharmacoeconomic data as part of the drug approval and market access process. Budget planning, healthcare systems and organizations use pharmacoeconomic analyses, including budget impact assessments, to plan for the financial impact of adopting new treatments or technologies. Pharmacoeconomics is a versatile tool that helps stakeholders across the healthcare landscape make more informed decisions about healthcare interventions, ensuring that resources are allocated efficiently and that patients have access to cost-effective treatments that provide optimal health outcomes. Thanks for watching our informative video for pharmacoeconomics. Please follow our channel on YouTube, page on LinkedIn and like our video to support more new videos from Market Access Today, the premier market access news platform.